Hi folks, welcome again to another Stall13.com video. This is, uh, there's pictures on the radio show's website, The World of Horses, that you can get to off of Stall13.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about here. There's photographs of Speck's tumor on the side of his face. There's also a written narrative explaining what is going on with this horse and this tumor. You can find those on the radio show's website. Unfortunately, some of you might feel that you're a little behind. That's why I'm doing this little bit of explanation at the first of this video. I've been continually doctoring this tumor. The tumor was surgically removed. You'll find all this out in the first video called uh, Specs uh, Tumor 1. Uh, this, I guess, would be Specs Tumor Number 2. Okay, what we have going on here now is I'm going to doctor this uh, tumor. The first thing I need to do, as I talked about this before, is I've got a lot of horses to do. We're doing other videos. It's not about having dirty hands. It's about prevention of germs and also the nasty medicine, the cream that I have to put on here. Once again, I do not have anybody's permission, so I can't show the product. I'm very sorry about that because I'd like to because it is a good product. Okay, pitch me the medicine in the bag. Okay. This is live video, folks. We don't edit anything. Okay. I'm going to apply this to the tumor, but before I do, I want to show you something. Notice on the side here how we have real nice, what I call, virgin skin. It looks really good. Zoom into this and you get good detail. You can see how we have this tumor. The eye is still open. We have a little bit of swelling here because I have stopped actually putting anything on the tumor that would dissolve the tumor. Everything that we've been doing is just to give the skin a little bit of a break and to see where we are and things are going relatively well here. We have just a tiny little bit of abrasion, I mean, excuse me, of drainage, but things are going really well. Now, normally this horse would not be tied, but Spec, I've been doctoring him for months. We're used to this. He's used to me doing this every night at short time before he eats. Otherwise, you should have someone holding this horse for you or he wouldn't be tied. But he knows what's going on and he's used to this. Now, when you apply the cream, you want to actually start below the eye and you want to kind of roll it to the eye. Just like in my previous video, you want to make sure that you get a good coating. And what we're doing here is we're basically giving the tumor medicine a break. It's pretty caustic stuff. And so what we're doing with this cream, with this salve that I'm putting on here, ladies and gentlemen, is we're doctoring the tumor a little bit, staying away from the eye. We got a buddy that's sniffing his rear end right now that's not a big help. Got a witness coming in here <laughs> trying to help us. <laughs> they know it's chore time, so everybody wants to be fed. Okay, now, when you get close to the eye, you do not want to get in the eye. It's actually better to leave a little bit exposed. I'm pushing on this to see if there is any pus or blood that's coming out. I do have a little bit of blood. I do have a little bit of pus, but not, bla not bad. Now, I do not want to stick this finger back in that tub now that it's been polluted with blood and pus. I want to take a clean finger and liberally apply another coating of this salve on here. I wouldn't be doing this if it was snowing or raining, but we've got good weather for the next couple days. So I'm going to take advantage of that and really pack on this stuff. You want to make sure that you don't have it on too thick so that it doesn't um, come off into the grain tub. He won't rub this off. Notice how his eye is wide open. He can see when I move my hand close, he's blinking. This is going well. I know it looks bad, but I'm not going to apologize because this is a world of horses. Things don't always go right. Matter of fact, a lot of you watching this video might say, when do they ever go right? This has been another Stall13.com video. I want you to take care of your horses. If you have any questions or suggestions for videos or about these, you can email me on the show's website, which is www.stall13.com, the radio show broadcast live every Sunday night in the central part of the U.S., and it is called The World of Horses. Take care of yourselves and take care of your horses.